So far in this course, I've limited myself to using HTTP tools that are included in the Android SDK, primarily HTTP URL connection. But there are some great third-party libraries available that are free and open source that can improve the way you communicate on the network in Android apps. I'll start with showing OKHTTP, OK a free open source library created by Square. This library mimics the API of HTTP URL connection and has an additional module that implements the Apache HTTP client API so that you can easily plug in this library and not change too much of your existing code. When you use OKHTTP, OK you won't see any change in the functionality of your application, but the app will automatically become more robust because this library has the ability to recover from failures, a critical capability when you're working with the internet. You can download the library at this web page, square.github.io slash OKHTTP. Click the download link, and that'll take you to the most recent version of the compiled JAR file. Now, for consistency and for convenience, I've included a version of the JAR file in the exercise files. So to use it, I'll go to my exercise files to the assets folder, then to software, and I'll select and copy the file OKHTTP OK 1.5.4. I recommend that you use this version rather than the version from the website, especially if the website has updated since then. That'll guarantee that you're using the same version I'm using. Now, I'll go to Eclipse, where I've opened the project OKHTTP. OK this project is a full implementation of my e-commerce app so far. When I run the app, I'm using HTTP URL connection to download a JSON formatted web service and then download the associated binary resources, the images. So the app is working, and I'm just going to plug in the OK HTTP library instead. I'll go back to my project and go to the Libs folder, and then I'll paste the library into place. In the most recent version of the Android developer tools, that's all you need to do to make the JAR file available. It's automatically added to your app's class path, and all of the classes in the library can be used in your code. Now I'll make a change to my HTTP Manager class. This is the class that's downloading my web service content. And right now I'm creating a connection using the HTTP URL connection class. So I'm going to add a little bit of code right here after I've created the URL, but before I create the connection. I'll type OKH with a lowercase k and press control space. And I see the class OKHTTP OK client is available. It's a member of the package com.squareup.okhttp. I'll select it. And that adds an import at the top of my file. And I'll name this new object client. And I'll instantiate it with the class's no arguments constructor. Now I'm going to change how I'm creating my connection. I'm no longer going to use this code, where I'm calling a method of the URL object. Instead, I'll use a bit of simpler code, client.open, and I'll pass in the URL object. And that's the entire change. Everything else in this code works exactly the same because you're still returning an instance of the HTTP URL connection class. So from there, I'll be reading through the content and saving it with the string builder. I'll save and run the app again in the emulator. And I'll test the app, and it works exactly the same as before. Now let's take a look at using OKHTTP OK to download binary resources. I'll go to my Flower Adapter class, and this time I'm going to use a single instance of OKHTTP OK client that I'll declare as a field of the current class. I'll start with private, then OKHTTP OK client. Once again, I'll name it client, and I'll instantiate it. Now I'll go down to my do in background method that's a part of the async task class. And I'll change a little bit of the code here. This line of code is where I'm using an input stream to download an image. 
I'll make a little bit of extra space around that line. And before that line, I'll create an instance of HTTP URL connection that I'll name con. And I'll instantiate it with client.open. And I'll create a new Java URL and pass in the image URL. So once again, just like I did in the HTTP manager class, I'm creating a connection using OK HTTP client. Now I'll get the input stream by calling con.getInputStream. Once you have the input stream, the rest of the code is exactly the same. I'm just restructuring the code a bit so I can use OK HTTP client the way it's intended. I'll save and run the app again. I'll click the action bar item and everything works exactly the same as before. But you might notice that images are showing up just a little bit faster than they did before. That's because I'm using the same HTTP client over and over again. I'm not having to recreate as many objects, but more importantly, the code in OK HTTP client is more robust and better optimized. And if you have network failure, this client knows how to automatically retry requests. There's much more that you can do with OK HTTP client, including sharing connections between multiple requests and caching responses. So as long as content hasn't changed on the server, you're not continually trying to download it. OK HTTP client is free and open source, and it's easy to plug into existing Android apps. And it'll make your app a little bit faster and a lot more robust.